curious little learners. Are you ready for some fun and learning today? I'm so excited to explore sorting, counting, and patterns with you. First, let's start with sorting. Sorting is kind of like an organizing party. We're going to put things that are the same together. Can you help me sort these colorful paper t-shirts? We have two colors, yellow and blue. Let's put all the yellow t-shirts in one pile and all the blue t-shirts in another. Ignore the numbers on them. When we are sorting, we are only looking to sort the colors. Okay, this looks like yellow and this one looks like blue. So we'll have a blue pile right here and a yellow pile right here. Blue, 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 yellow, 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 yellow. There we go, we have them sorted into piles. Okay, we're gonna hang up the laundry. Hang up the laundry in numerical order. Okay, let's get our laundry line out. Mm -hmm. Okay, so we have the yellow pile and we have the blue pile of paper t-shirts. Which one should I choose? Okay, let's go with the yellow. Okay, I'm gonna put away these blue t-shirts for another game later. Are just fixing my line. Okay, let's get started. I'm going to just put these all out right now so we can look at all the numbers. We have four, number six, number three, number one, number two, and number five. We're gonna put them in order. Which one goes first? Yeah, that's right, number one. So let's put that on our clothing line. We're hanging up the laundry, hanging up the laundry. Okay, so we got one up now. What number comes after number one? Is it four, three, two, six, or five? Hmm. One, two. Yeah, it's number two. Good job. All right, let's hang up number two. Hang it up, hang it up. Okay, we have number six. No, I don't think it's number six. Yeah, it's three. All right, let's put three on the clothing line. One. Two. Three. Okay, we have four, six, and five left. Which comes next? Which one is it? Which one is it? Tell me when to stop. Oh, good. You are right. It's four. All right, let's put four on the clothing line. Yay. Okay, one, two, three, four. What comes next? You're right, it's five. All right. Oh, we have only one spot missing. One, two, three, four, five, six. Very good, it's the number six. Great job. Yay, we finished hanging up all the laundry. One, two, three, four, five.
five, and six. Great job counting friends. You guys did a great, great job. The bonus asks us to explore patterns. A pattern is something that repeats in a certain order. Today, we're going to make an AB pattern using yellow and blue. To make an AB pattern, we need two colors, in this case, yellow and blue. We have yellow, 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 yellow. So that is A. So now what we're going to do is we're going to take out the second one, AB. A, B. So now we're going to replace the, the B's with the blue. So we have A, B. Number three is an A. So now we need number four blue, don't we? Okay, one, two, three, four. No, not a yellow one. Yes, we need the blue one. That continues our A, B, A, B pattern. Very good. Five is yellow, so what color is six? Do we need a yellow six? No, no, we're making an A, B pattern. We need a blue six. Very good, friends. You are excellent pattern makers. So we have A, B, A, B, A, B. We made an A-B pattern, yay! Everybody give themselves a pat on the back. Good job. Let's keep exploring and learning together. Until next time, stay curious, kids. Ta-da!